Robotics is a key enabler for the digitalization of oil and gas facilities. Robots like the EXR1 will be the mobile eyes, nose and ears of the operator. Ultimately, manipulators will be added to the EXR1 mobility platform, allowing it to perform hazardous tasks. In the near future, we expect the robots to be automated so that they perform simple tasks with no human intervention. Robotics today is still a remote controlled technology. We still have our operators and inspectors steering the robotics as if they are doing their tasks like today, but now from a safe distance. In the longer term, we expect fully autonomous navigation, data collection and advanced analytics. Currently, instead of an operator traveling to and walking around a site, he or she can look through the robot's cameras and listen to its microphones. This enables the operator to read gauges, see breakages and hear abnormal sounds as if he or she was there. The operator can be hundreds of kilometers from the robot and communicates with it over the public 4G LTE infrastructure. This eliminates the need to invest in private wireless networks. One of the requirements for a robot like the EXR1 is to charge itself. There is no need for a person to plug it in after every shift. The collaboration with EX Robotics was phenomenal. Um, EX Robotics has helped us to deliver the Sensible Mark II to Kazakhstan last year. Um, and based on those experiences, they have now developed a new version, the XR1, which is a far more affordable machine that can be deployed in higher volumes in our industry. Also, in our industry, robots must operate in potentially explosive environments. The EXR1 has a Zone 1 certificate.